This is Dylan Kasaski, and this is his first day of class at Saginaw Valley State University. Just yesterday, he had been a part of the annual Meyer Mania tradition, and he was feeling prepared to start his new life at SVSU. Dylan? Yeah? Did you remember to get toilet paper? At his first class, Dylan took a moment to look around and see how the rest of the students were handling their first class at a university. He was not surprised by what he saw, but he made a promise to himself that he would work hard and do the best that he could in his studies. That, and I'll have to get some really smart friends. Hi, uh, Dr. Lacey. Um, my name's Dylan. I'm just wondering if I could stop by your office hours sometime. I'm just trying to make sure I'm going to get off to the right start with this class. Sure. Dylan, good to meet you. Yeah, um, I don't think you should have any problem with the class, but feel free to stop by my office. We can talk about things that are happening in class. Uh, but always check your email. That's really important because I'll be uh, sending class updates. So check your email. All right, great. Thank you so much. That will be worth an extra credit point or two. It wasn't but it was the start of a good habit that would serve Dylan well for the rest of his college career. The semester was off to a good start for Dylan, and soon he found himself in a comfortable routine of taking classes, being with friends, studying hard, and eating at his favorite place on campus, the Marketplace at Dome. Hey, intramural sports are starting up. We should get a team together. Oh yeah, what sports should we play? I don't know. I kind of like volleyball, I guess. Oh, you're playing in the intramural volleyball tournament too? This is Emily Van Flatteren, another SVSU freshman with a bit of a competitive personality. Well, we've got a team together. Maybe we'll see you out on the court. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Not for you. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Despite Dylan and Emily's uncomfortable first meeting, they quickly got to know each other, and even with Emily's competitive spirit, they became friends. At first, they only met to encourage each other while exercising at the campus rec center, but soon their friends and classmates could find them at all sorts of events around SVSU, like Cards Party, Block Party, Battle of the Valleys, and of course, the football games. The semester was nearing its end, which meant that Dylan was studying hard for his final exams. Fortunately, he now had Emily to help him. What are you working on right now? I'm trying to study for my chemistry exam. For that, you should go to the Center for Academic Achievement. I'm sure they'd be able to help you with that. They would. And maybe I could go there for help with my English paper, too. Well, for that, you should go to the Writing Center. I'll bet they can help you with that paper. They can. So after many hours of working hard, preparing, studying, and checking his email, Dylan took his final exams and submitted his end of term papers. Hey Dylan. Hey. How'd you do on that exam? I did well, I got a 95. <laughs> I got a 96. Ah. In fact, Emily had also received a 95, but she decided it would sound better to say it the other way. Ow. We aren't even in the same class. We really killed it this last semester. What could we do next semester to make it even more awesome? We could run for homecoming king and queen. Yeah, Dylan, like that's gonna happen. You might as well run for student association president. I mean, you could run for a leadership position in Forever Red, that new organization you joined. Emily would become the president of Forever Red, a fact she liked to remind Dylan of often. I mean, we'll see. Are you ready for next semester? Bring it on. In Dylan and Emily's next semester, Dylan tries to improve his study skills so he can be a good role model to incoming freshmen. Somebody's got to be able to set a good example around here. And Emily tries to be a little nicer to Dylan, with mixed results. <laughs> 